Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many new developers encounter when working with Bulma. Our viewer has just installed Bulma using NPM and is wondering how to properly reference it in their project. They're unsure if they should use an import statement or require it in their JavaScript files, and they're also confused about where to find the installed files. Let's break this down step by step and make it easy to understand. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. After installing Bulma through NPM, the first step is to locate the Bulma CSS file in your project. Typically, it will be found in the node modules directory. To use Bulma in your project, you need to include the CSS file in your HTML. You can do this by adding a link tag in the head section of your HTML file. If you're using a build tool or a module bundler like Webpack, you can import Bulma directly in your JavaScript file. Use the import statement like this. Alternatively, if you prefer using CommonJS syntax, you can require Bulma in your JavaScript file. This is useful if you're not using ES6 modules. Finally, make sure to run your project to see Bulma's styles applied. You can start your development server or open your HTML file directly in a browser. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Bulma is a CSS framework, so you can include it in your project like any other CSS file. Just add a link to the Bulma CSS file in your indexed HTML. Since you installed Bulma using NPM, you'll find it in the node modules directory. Make sure to reference the correct path to the Bulma CSS file. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To use Bulma with Font Awesome 5 via NPM, first install the necessary packages. You'll need Bulma and Font Awesome solid icons. Next, initialize Font Awesome in your project by importing the required modules and adding the solid icons to the library. For more detailed instructions, you can visit the Font Awesome documentation online. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use Bulma in your view project after installing it via NPM, first run the command to install Bulma. Then, check your node modules folder for the Bulma directory. Next, import Bulma's CSS in your main.js file. A recommended way to do this is by using a simplified import statement.
Avoid using the full path for the import, as it's not considered best practice. Stick to the simplified version for cleaner code. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use Bulma after installing it via NPM, you can leverage a CSS preprocessor like Node SAS. First, install Node SAS in Bulma using NPM. Next, create a SCSS file where you import Bulma's styles. This allows you to inherit and customize Bulma's styles. Then in your app.js, use Node SAS to render the SCSS file into CSS. This will give you a CSS buffer that you can use in your project. Finally, you can access the generated CSS and use it in your application. This method allows for customization, enhancing Bulma's capabilities. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use Bulma in your project after installing it via NPM, you need to add a link to the Bulma CSS file in your indexed HTML. In a React application, make sure to place this link in the HTML file where your app's root is located. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.